everybody, I'm going to be teaching you today how to get your wig hair to look like this. Currently, most of this wig is done, as in regards to I have done my method across all of it. I just now need to brush it out. But I can definitely show you the way that I do it, even if it's just on this small strand, even though it's already been done. I don't mind going over it one more time. So I'm going to brush this out really quick. I'm using just like a standard brush because I'm lazy and I don't want to use a comb. And I tell you guys... That when it comes to wig styling, I am quite literally extremely lazy. I'll do everything in a really lazy way, but it works, okay? So let me. My method of styling needs, um, obviously, the standard crimpers. I'm sorry if the camera shakes. It is right in front of me. These are literally super cheap on Amazon. I don't have any recommendations for what you should use in crimping terms because I don't really know much about crimpers itself. They're just standard ones from Amazon. These I wouldn't actually recommend because they're kind of like... They're huge for one, but for two, you can't really touch this area without it getting super hot, which is obviously terrible. So I'd recommend some like heat gloves if you're gonna do this. Another thing I'd recommend is obviously just a pair of standard straighteners. Obviously basic hair clips and stuff really help. There is obviously thousands of different methods into styling a wig, but this is my personal favorite. Let's brush this out. Like sometimes you get it, but it's not always, it's the crimp marks. The crimp marks just do not appear in this method and if they do it's very minimal it's easy to pull out with like a straightener there's plenty of recommendations and things that you can do to avoid crimp marks but this is just my personal way of doing it the only thing that i'll come out with is, is maybe like something like this do you see this and this is just like a small curl in what was a straight wig but that in my opinion is super easy to get rid of it just literally straightens out I'll try and turn these back on really quick because they've they've turned off they should be kind of hot still and it will just come right out. So it's not like a problem as such. Whereas crimp marks are way harder to get out. So in terms of showing you guys, I literally totally forgot I was going to make this video. And therefore that's why this wig is literally done. But I'm just going to go over this just to show you guys what I do. It's a small section of hair. Uh, yeah, Like I said, it'd be easier if you did section out your stuff. But I'm, I'm lazy, so I didn't. So first things first, I grab this hair and I go to crimp it. And I will crimp it all the way down. And I'm literally quickly moving this hair. Like I'm not going fast. You notice there is crimp marks. Put that one down like that. And I will grab a comb. Sorry, I forgot to mention that you need a comb. And I will just back comb it. And this will get rid of any of the crimp marks. And all of that stuff. And it will give you that fluffy, easy styling texture that everybody loves and wants. And then I just simply brush this out. It can take a while to get it out. But either way... It's going to take a while to get anything out. And you'll notice there's literally no crimp marks on this, even though you just watched them being made. And as you can see, there is hardly any crimp marks there. So once I've done that and I've brushed this out, I then go over with a hair straightener. Okay, and what this does is just kind of just calm the frizz. And therefore, I can make any kind of spike. I know this is not a spike in specific for this character. I'm just literally doing an example. As you can see... There it is, and you can form it, cut it into any kind of shape that you want to, and things like that. And obviously with, with heat, it's important to hold the wig into position until it cools down. It's not just gonna, you can't just do this, and it will stay like that. You need to, you need to physically hold heat in a wig to keep it there, otherwise it's just not going to listen to you. So, for example, if I did that on the wig, it's not gonna listen, but the minute I hold it there, it will start to, I say listen, like it has ears. <laughs> but like, if I heat this up now, just roll it around my finger a little bit, it will start to listen, as you can see, look at that. Um, and obviously the hotter it is, the longer you hold it and the quicker it cools down, things like that, the better outcome you will get from styling your wig. Synthetic hair does not work the same as real hair. A lot of people like the fact that my spikes are not just like one whole thing like this. And in order for that to, ha to happen, I literally just splice, splice, would that be the word? I'm not sure. But I just do this at the end of the spikes that I make and it gives sort of like a, you know, a whole different perspective. And then I can just cut off that, say, that long bit there. And it gives it nice, like, definitions, loads of different spikes there, loads of small ones. And really, that is all it is for this method into getting your hair like this. And I do every single one of my wigs like this. I do apologize for any camera shakes and stuff like that. Like I said, the camera's literally between my legs. But as a bonus, I will show you what this wig looks like at the end using this method. As you can see, it is quite literally all over this wig. Currently, that's why there's a bunch of like 
piece of pieces. You can actually see me in the back there. Hello. <laughs> but um, yeah, I will show you what this looks like at the end and everything like that. When it comes to wig styling also, I do want to, you know, explain a few different things, especially when it comes to framing faces and how fringes work, because I do not use this method really when it comes to a fringe. But that method I will explain later. This is more for thicker spikes that are like around the edge of the hair. And here is the outcome of that wig. It is not finished yet. It's got a long way to go um, in terms of colouring and just fixing up some little pieces here and now. But yeah, the wig is going well. So I am pleased with it so far. But there is a little bit more needing to go. But I am happy with how it is looking so far. So I hope this video was informative and helped you guys. And we will see you in the next one.